Hello there, welcome to my channel. You're at the Thrifty Journal Shop. My name is Amber. If you are new here, hello. I'm so happy that you stopped by. Today I'm going to share a flip through of one of my larger style glue book junk journals. This is a custom order, but I always like to share just for reference for myself and also just to um, share some inspiration ideas. So this cover came from Miss Carla Frizzell. She had a bunch of large style book covers she wasn't using. So I've been taking full advantage of them. Um, this book had a few pages of the original story in it. So what I did here was I, I mean, isn't this just a gorgeous cover? So pretty. This is just a beautiful quilt block that I thrifted. I mean, I just love the colors. So I made one of my flexible wraparound spines and I chain stitched it to the cover. And then the, the corners here were a little bit frayed. In fact, the cover was starting to peel. It had that plastic. So I went ahead and just peeled all of it off. And then I did just put some of these little corner tabs on just for um, some extra, you know, security, stability. So the cover here is a little worn. Um, it's well loved. So I had some requests from her. She wanted it to um, be like a tabletop journal glue book. She didn't want any fabrics or lace, um, you know, any of that. And she wanted vintage papers. And so I, um, and wallpaper, went through my stash and um, pulled what I have that's vintage and um, just sort of put it together. So what I have here is, this is just some extras and um, I've got just some garden papers, some stationery, and then here is like a farm bureau. I got this at a state sale. This is, um, it says 1949. So I'm including that and then just some um, sheets that I have out of some craft books um, that were from the 80s. And then I've got this nice goodie bag here. Um, I've got these really cute playing cards. I found them recently at um, our cabin up north in a corner in um, a cigar box. There was this old cigar box with these um, vintage playing cards. Um, I've got um, a few of these. I've got some vintage cookbook theme stuff or um, cooking theme. So I included some of that. Here's a recipe card. Um, I got these postcards. These are vintage. This was in Happy Mail. I've got some recipe cards that are older. Here's just one of my colorful um, security envelopes I altered. And there's a little scrap of wallpaper. This is out of some kind of vintage cookbook, just a scrap from um, some kind of uh, vintage book, a little card. And then I just made some different journaling cards. This is from the Dollar Tree. And then I've got um, some other vintage cookbooks. These came out of those. And then I included some of this really cute vintage wrapping paper. And some more sheets out of some vintage um, cookbook. I love how it's um, the natural vintage look there. So there'll be lots of extra goodies to play with. So all of that is going to be coming. The um, journal has three signatures. And in each signature, I included 20 pages with front and back. That's 40. So you should have 120 um, spaces front and back. I left the um, original covers. I didn't put any pockets here. I mean, you even have the little, the writing from Joan Smith. I just, I think these illustrations and the color is just beautiful. I love how you can see um, the fabric here. And then this is the back cover. Okay, so I included some scrapbook paper. This is nice and heavy. It's double-sided. Here's some garden paper, and then here's another one of those really cute um, vintage playing cards. I've got some craft paper. I love this. It's nice and thick. Um, some vintage atlas paper. 
This is from a, uh, I think, um, a stained glass um, vintage book, craft books. Here's some of that um, really pretty wallpaper that I have, vintage cookbook. This is another um, page from a vintage Richard Scarry book. I included a, um, a dress pattern or a, um, pa um, a vintage pattern book. I like I like how it's elongated this way. Um, so I think that's from the 80s. And then I inside here, there's some of the dress paper in there. I don't know if it says the date. 1987. So I included that. And then I just sewed it together with some vintage Holly Hobby wrapping paper. And I double-sided it and just punched and say so have a little tuck spot there. Um, we've got some double-sided scrapbook paper. I thought these colors were really pretty. Vintage cookbook. Some more of that um, wallpaper. And then I got these really pretty um, cards a, a years ago at a estate sale. I just think they're really pretty. They're vintage with the mushrooms there. So I didn't sew it on. I just paper clipped it here. Um, more more vintage um, craft paper, the atlas. Then I put a pocket here. This is from a garden book. And then here is a, just a large tag I made. I did add some little ruffle here. And then this is just a vintage um, flash card. Love the scrapbook paper double-sided. Now we're on to the second signature. Here is a page from a bird book. Here is some really pretty textured vintage wallpaper. And then I've got some vintage stationery. I just sewed that for a flip. This is um, an Aspen, Colorado book. Some vintage stationery. Vintage cake decorating book. Lots of coloring here. This is from another garden book. Here is some writing paper. This is nice and thick. This is from the Dollar Tree. This is from a McCall's book, I think. A big vintage um, craft sewing book. This is from a vintage um, Betty Crocker Kids cookbook. I love all the colors. It's got some stainage here. More of that writing paper, vintage cake decorating, craft papers, and then I did sew a um, vintage recipe card, added a couple playing cards for Monopoly. Here is some more of stationery, vintage stationery in the envelope, and just a sheet from the Dollar Tree. Vintage um, stationery. It's more of that gorgeous um, wallpaper. Another page from the bird book. These are my favorite birds, <laughs> the little chickadees. I love them. Just so it's Monopoly money. Now we're under the third signature. You can see that beautiful fabric. This is the original book page. Garden book. This is from a nursery book, a nursery rhyme book. I, I'm, I've been looking for the jacket. I know I have it. Um, it was a little a book from when I was a little girl. I just love the illustrations in it. It's just gorgeous. This is out of a children's book. I thought the colors were pretty. Another children's book. This is out of a Southern Living cookbook. And then here is a vintage um, sheet. This was out of um, some vintage cookbook. I just added that for a flip. Here is some music paper that I had, and this was actually from my great grandpa. He had a, a harp, and this was some of the um, the music paper that was inside the box. So it's all it's all stained. I mean, it's all naturally got that vintage look to it, and it's nice and thick. More um, vintage wallpaper. Here's another little um, flip. Lots of writing space here. Um, this is from the garden book. More pages from that vintage um, kids Betty Crocker cookbook. 
another sheet of um, wallpaper. Here's more of that music paper. It's just gorgeous. So pretty. The Snow Leopard. I love this book. More Aspen, Colorado paper. Garden paper. And then here's another page, original book page. And then the back, I just, you can see, it's got Joan Smith. And then I just sewed some um, vintage wrapping paper. And in here, I tucked a um, playing card, um, a page from a gardening book, and just another map, an atlas map. I just think these pages are, are really pretty and fun. And they have nice, thick, this nice, thick texture. You could use this for collage, or you can make a journaling cards or tags out of it. I just like using maps and atlases in my journals. And then there's the back again. So that is the big, beautiful birds, glue book, junk journal, just a gorgeous book. And it will come with all of these goodies. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. I thought I would just share a flip through with you for some inspiration. I hope you are all doing well. Please get outside today and enjoy some sunshine. And I hope you find some time for yourself to create. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'll see you soon.